Hi, we're here at Zap Hack, the two-day hackathon in Shoreditch. Zap is bringing together developers, designers and coders from the fintech and retail world to build prototypes and reinvent the retail experience. The 10 teams will have the option to build on top of Zap's infrastructure, or alternatively, they can build their own framework. Over the next 36 hours, they'll be building the prototypes, which will be judged by an expert panel, all for the chance to win an all-expenses-paid trip to South Korea. Let's see how they get on. Um, all right, so first things first, can you explain your, your prototype that you built over the last 36 hours? What does it do? Okay, so uh, we've taken our platform and we've uh, enabled Zap, who are processing prime payments, to process payments in digital currencies, such as Bitcoin or Litecoin or even uh, M-Pesa, the Kenyan mobile minutes. Okay, we came up with this idea of uh, Zap the Tap, which is basically an application which you can use while uh, visiting a restaurant. If a group of friends are going into a restaurant and they, uh, they want to have a meal, they can order it using this uh, application. Um, let's talk about this, the product you've built. What, what is it? And, and then you, made, you mentioned this story that it was influenced by your daughter. Can you give us some explanation on that? That's right, yeah. The product we've come to develop is basically a geographical ticketing based system. So, for instance, if you want to turn up an event, you haven't got a ticket, um, you know, but you're registered with Zap, you've got the Zap enabled banking app, you can basically enter the venue or the, basically the wide area, park, whatever, this, whatever the thing is, um, you know, it's, it's kind of a, a wide open use case here. And you can pay as you actually enter. Um, the payment will get registered with the merchant and you'll get a virtual ticket and you can pass off into the, into the venue and have some fun. What about the actual benefits for the merchant and the consumer? What does it offer them? Uh, so for the merchant, um, it opens the world literally to transactions so they can accept uh, money from somebody in Britain, anywhere in the world, in any currency they, they're after. Um, and for the, and it, it's cheaper, it's like less than 1%. Um, and for the consumer, um, they get access to a much bigger network of offers and um, better prices just by supply and demand. Your product, apart from being a geolocation based sort of payment system, there's other uses for it, I imagine. So what are they? How can you see I'm, it being used? You know, I, I've given you the example there of uh, an outdoor event. Um, I think we've got sort of applications in car parking. And, you know, these are fixed geographical locations. Yeah. So do you want to keep it at the kind of the vehicle based and the queue? I mean, vehicle based is one thing. I, I love cars and I'm motorhead. So, you know, kind of being able to look after my car and pay for my parking. I mean, I don't know if you've ever used an IVR when you're parking and it's say the registration number, goodbye phone, I'll take the car home and I'll walk back, you know? So you have that kind of issue there. Um, but it, it, it's really this spatially aware thing, where your, your product is your presence um, and the services that are around you. I think it's got massive applications. There. 